everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library and today we're talking about art! Yay! So Earth Day is coming up so we thought we would do an art project out of some recyclable materials that basically almost everyone has at home and that is boxes, cereal boxes, pasta boxes, cracker boxes, really any kind of box at all works. Um, maybe not the heavy duty cardboard ones because they're hard to cut and what we thought we would make this time round are stamps. Um, I made a few here. I made an emoji stamp. It was hard to cut out the inside parts without folding it too much. A star, a heart. My finished project product is here. And now I will show you how I made them. It was pretty simple. So you start with your box and your scissors, and you just cut it up. And you don't need to, how much you cut it up depends on how many stamps you want and how big you want them to be. You make a nice size rectangle there, that's usually, gives you a lot of space to work with. I already have a pattern idea in mind. So my idea is I'd like to make a sun. So I have a cup here. I'm gonna trace a circle. Be the center of my sun. There's my circle. And then I'm just gonna add triangles around the outside of it to be the rays of the sun. What's nice about the drawing part of this is that if you don't like how you've drawn it originally, well, you haven't cut it out yet, so you can change it around. My star took me a few tries. You can, you can see there, there's some lines there. The star took me a few efforts. Okay, so then you cut out your shape. Almost done. There we go. It's a sun. It's a little lopsided, but it'll work. Now, the trick is, is that if we're gonna be dipping this in paint and then we're going to be dipping it, putting it on our paper, um, we need a way to pick it up out of the paint so that our hands don't get completely gross. And so that's where our little handles come in. I thought up of two different ways to make handles there's but uh, the sky's the limit your imagination is is the limit um, you can do it this way where you fold down a tab on a piece of cardboard and you glue it on the back which is the way I'm going to use to do it I like using tacky glue because it dries really fast and it dries really strong, but any kind of glue you have at home will probably work as long as you give it enough time to dry. So there we go. Another kind of handle that I made was I took a little bottle cap and I glued it onto the back of my stamp. So we'll let that dry over there. So now for the fun part the actual stamping part. I'm going to start with three different colors. I'm going to start with our primary colors because then we can do some color mixing. So I've got some red. Excuse you, red. And some yellow. And some blue. There we go. Some 
blue. And I think I'm going to use another bit of cardboard here, a sort of paint stirrer. I'm going to spread the paint out so that my stamps, it'll cover all of the whole surface of my stamps. Spread it out there. Already mixing the colors a little bit below. All right. So the cardboard box stamps are not going to be as absorbent as stamps made out of, you know, sponges and things like that. So that makes it them a little bit messier. So make sure you've got lots of paper towels on hand. And you might wind up doing a little bit of finger painting. That's what I wound up doing when I was making my examples. So I'll start with my biggest stamp. I'll start with my, my smiley face here. I need my paint puddle to be a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make a blue smiley face, cause why not? You can also paint the paint onto the stamp and then press the stamp onto the paper, whatever method works best for you. And you wanna squish the paint on there. I'm using acrylic paint cause it's washable and that's always nice, but also because it shows up a good strong color even when you don't use oodles and oodles of paint and then squish it down and again your cardboard's not very heavy so you might need to use your fingers to squish it a little bit too and whoop. uh oh it looks like a sort of scary clown a little bit whoop. there we go so it's not perfect. There are some, there are some spots missing. There we go. I'll just fill them in with my finger. So he looks a little bit less like a clown. That's missing some paint. There we go. And he's a smiley face with a little yellow beard. I didn't do that on purpose. So it's a lot of fun. Um, just basically have fun with it. See what happens. I'll try a red and blue star next. I used these yesterday and they've dried, so they're not lying quite as flat as they were yesterday. They've warped a little bit. There we go. Slightly lopsided star. There you go. We'll try the heart. The heart was the one that worked the best yesterday. We'll see if it works well today. Ta-da, the heart. Um, you'll notice that I also have a bottle here. Depending on the kind of water bottle you have, um, you can try making flowers with the bottom of the water bottle by dipping it in the paint and using it as a stamp. Like so. Unfortunately, this water bottle only leaves little dots. But again, you can choose to finger paint if you'd like, and you can sort of make it into a flower by finger painting, if you wish. I was having some fun with that. So it's a very messy art project, this one, but it is a lot of fun. So let's see, this might have dried enough. Let's, let's, see, if my, let's see if my son here has dried enough to be a stamp. Let's make a puddle of paint to dip it in here. Make it a multicolored sun. And see what happens. Some designs work better than the other ones, as you'll notice from the smiley face. But the fun part about art is experimenting to see what'll work. There's no mistakes in art. 
There's just experimenting and having fun and being creative and figuring out what to do next. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in, guys, and um, I hope to see you next time. And remember, we're open to the public, but if you do come into the library, please wear a mask that covers your nose and mouth at all times. It is required inside the building. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye.